Okay, so I'm back in our connection template file that we made in the last video. And as you probably saw, it might be a little annoying to have to, you know, externally start a SIDL vehicle every time we want to test out some code that we made in our Python file. So what we can actually do is use the DroneKit SIDL Python package that we installed in the previous videos. And what this allows us to do is launch a SIDL vehicle directly from our script. So what we can do with our connect my copter function is say, hey, if there's an IP address that the user wants to connect to, we'll look for this dash dash connect option and capture that IP address. But if an IP address isn't specified, then launch a SIDL vehicle directly from this script. And we can do that with the following code. Okay, so this is the new portion here. So right here, if we didn't pass in dash dash connect option, then this connection string is going to be set equal to nothing. So what we can do is perform some logic off to that, and we can say if not connection string, so if this isn't populated with a valid argument, then let's import the drone kit SIDL Python package. Let's start a new SIDL drone right from our Python script, and let's grab the connection string or the IP address that we need to connect to this new drone kit SIDL instance. So the connection string will be populated with manual input here, and then the drone kit SIDL input here. So either way, we're going to have an IP address to connect to at this point in the code with the connect function. And we'll get a vehicle object that we were getting before. But this here will make it so we don't have to manually start a SIDL vehicle if we don't want to. So let's save this and test it out. Let's pull up a terminal and go to course root and Diddy Kong. Now let's start our script again by typing python in the name of the file, but this time let's not specify dash dash connect. And if we do this, we'll launch a SIDL instance directly from our file. And there we go. Our script recognized that we didn't pass in an IP address, so it, initially, it booted a SIDL instance for us. And we're seeing here some information about our SIDL vehicle that it launched. It's using the APM copter version 3.3. It's also a quadcopter and some various firmware information. So this is a handy modification that we've made to the connection template so that we don't have to deal with all that manual work later on.